Astronomically speaking, 2024 was a great year. The total solar eclipse in April, the spectacular auroras in May, Comet A3 Atlas in October, and four back-to-back -back summer supermoons were among the most memorable celestial events. However, 2025 promises to be even more exciting. This year, we will witness four eclipses, a rare planet parade, the disappearance of Saturn's rings, and observe several planetary conjunctions that you won't want to miss. Let's take a closer look at the five most incredible events set to occur in 2025. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss them. In 2025, Skywatchers will be treated to four eclipses, two lunar and two solar. The year begins with a blood moon eclipse on March 14th. A blood moon eclipse is one of the most captivating celestial events. This phenomenon occurs during a total lunar eclipse, when the Earth aligns perfectly between the Sun and the Moon, casting its shadow over the lunar surface. But what makes the Moon glow with a reddish hue instead of disappearing completely? The answer lies in the Earth's atmosphere. As sunlight passes through our atmosphere, it scatters shorter, bluer wavelengths while allowing longer, redder wavelengths to bend around the Earth and reach the Moon. This process, known as Rayleigh scattering, bathes the Moon in a dim, coppery red light, creating the blood moon effect. This total lunar eclipse will last 3 hours and 38 minutes, starting at 1.09 a.m. EDT with the blood moon phase lasting for 1 hour and 5 minutes. Beginning at 2.26 a.m. EDT, it will be visible from the Americas, Antarctica, Alaska, Northeast Russia, and parts of Africa. The last time North America saw a total lunar eclipse was on November 8, 2022, which was the longest one visible from most of the continent since 1989. An eclipse never comes alone. It's always followed by another eclipse two weeks later. Following the March 14th total lunar eclipse, a partial solar eclipse will occur on March 29th. During this event, the Moon will cover up to 93% of the Sun at its peak. The eclipse will last nearly four hours, starting at 4.51 a.m. EDT, and will be visible from parts of the Americas, Western Russia, Europe, and Africa. The third eclipse of the year will be once again a total lunar eclipse on September 7th, visible from Asia, Russia, parts of Africa, Oceania, and Europe. It will last for three and a half hours, beginning at 4.27 p.m. GMT. This eclipse happens just days after the Moon reaches perigee, its closest point to Earth, making the Moon appear slightly larger in the sky. The total phase of the eclipse will last 1 hour and 22 minutes, longer than the March blood moon. The year concludes with a partial solar eclipse on September 21st, visible from parts of Antarctica and Oceania. In the southern hemisphere, up to 79% of the solar disk will be covered by the moon. This January, six of the seven planets in our solar system will be visible at once. Of these, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn will be clearly visible to the naked eye. As twilight fades, look toward the southwestern horizon. There, you'll spot Venus and Saturn appearing close together. Venus, the brighter of the two, will be unmissable. Higher in the sky, the brilliant Jupiter, second only to Venus in brightness, will catch your eye. The gas giant recently passed its opposition and is around its peak brightness. Near the eastern horizon, Mars will shine with its striking red hue. January is the best time of the year to see the red planet as it will be at opposition, its closest approach to Earth in over two years. During opposition, 
Mars appears especially bright and fully illuminated, making it an ideal time for observation and photography. The planet is not only brighter, but also rises in the east as the sun sets in the west, remaining visible all night long. This proximity not only enhances its brightness, but also increases the detail visible through a telescope. Amateur astronomers can observe surface features such as ice caps, weather patterns, and volcanic terrains with greater clarity. Uranus will be positioned near Jupiter, and Neptune will be close to Venus and Saturn. You'll need optical aid to see both these ice giants as their magnitude is beyond the naked eye limit. This celestial parade will continue into February with the waxing moon rejoining the lineup from January 31st to February 14th. The event becomes even rarer in late February, turning into a seven-planet parade as Mercury joins the show. However, spotting all seven planets together will be a challenge. Mercury, Saturn, and Neptune will be close to the Sun at sunset, requiring a clear western horizon to catch a glimpse of these planets. Saturn's majestic rings will disappear from our view on March 23rd. This intriguing phenomenon is known as a ring plane crossing and occurs approximately every 15 years, as Saturn's tilted rings align on edge with Earth and the Sun. Now before we move ahead, think about this. If you've ever dreamed of creating your own online store but felt overwhelmed, Odoo makes it incredibly simple. Odoo is an all-in-one enterprise management software that covers all your business needs. With an app for every need, their e-commerce builder app helps you to set up an online store within minutes and customize it to your desires without any technical knowledge. The setup process is as intuitive as understanding Saturn's ring plane crossing. Odoo's e-commerce builder walks you through four easy steps. Define your business objectives, field, and goals. Pick your color scheme or upload a logo to have Odoo make one. Add pages and features and choose an AI-generated theme based on past choices. Now you're ready to customize. Just drag and drop content blocks, customize visual elements, and bring your store to life in hours. Adding products is just as effortless. Click on New at top right, add in product name, price, and image or just use the barcode and your product page will be live. Configure your payment methods with options like Razorpay and UPI, and shipping partners like DHL and FedEx, and you're ready to start selling. So check out the link in the description to build your very own e-commerce store. Your first app is free for life with a custom domain name free for one year. Now back to Saturn's ring plane crossing. To understand why this happens, Let's explore the mechanics. Saturn's rings are not flat relative to the plane of its orbit. They are tilted by about 27 degrees, giving us a clear view of their broad reflective surface most of the time. As Saturn orbits the Sun, its tilt causes the ring's angle to change relative to Earth. Twice during Saturn's 29.5 year orbit, the rings align edge on to our line of sight. Despite being over 270 million miles wide, the planet's rings are incredibly thin, just 10 meters to a kilometer thick in most places. During a ring plane crossing, this thin edge is all that we can see, making the rings nearly invisible from Earth. This movie sequence captures Saturn's rings during a ring plane crossing from the Cassini spacecraft's point of view. As the spacecraft speeds from south to north, the rings appear to tilt downward and collapse to a thin line. Then they open again to reveal the unilluminated side of the ring plane, where the sunlight filters through only dimly. The movie consists of 34 images taken over the course of 12 hours as Cassini pierced the ring plane. In 2025, the ring plane crossing will occur on March 23rd. However, just before this crossing, on March 12th, 
Saturn will be in conjunction with the Sun, meaning it will be positioned behind the Sun from our perspective. This makes viewing difficult for about 44 days around this event. Hence, the ring plane crossing of March won't be visible through telescopes. But there will be another opportunity to observe Saturn's rings in a nearly edge-on position later in the year. Specifically, around November 23rd, they will again appear very thin. The ring plane crossing provides astronomers and enthusiasts with a rare opportunity to study Saturn's ring system and its dynamics. Observations during this period can yield insights into the structure and composition of the rings and may highlight features that are not visible when viewed at other angles. After November 23rd, the next ring plane crossing of Saturn won't occur until October 15th, 2038. If you have a telescope, this is a rare chance to witness this fascinating celestial event. The year 2025 will be a fantastic time to witness close planetary alignments in the sky. The first of these encounters is the Venus-Saturn conjunction on January 18th. During this time, both planets will shine over the horizon after sunset, gradually drawing closer to each other each evening. By January 18th, Venus and Saturn will appear just a few degrees apart in the constellation Aquarius. Venus will steal the show, glowing brightly at a magnitude of minus 4.5, while Saturn will appear much dimmer at magnitude 1. Although the two planets will be too far apart to fit within a single telescopic view, they'll form a stunning sight in the twilight sky. If you miss the conjunction on January 18th, you will still have a chance to see them on January 20th, as they remain close to each other for a few days. The next planetary pairing of 2025 is the spectacular Jupiter-Venus conjunction, which promises to outshine the earlier Venus-Saturn meetup. As the two brightest planets in the sky, Venus and Jupiter create a celestial spectacle that can be easily admired with the naked eye. While Mars occasionally takes Jupiter's place as the second brightest planet during its opposition, this is only temporary. The combination of Venus and Jupiter is unmatched, often resembling a brilliant double star in the sky. This year's conjunction will occur in the pre-dawn skies of August 12th, when the two planets will be just one degree apart in the constellation Gemini. Venus, shining at an impressive magnitude of minus 4, will outshine Jupiter, which will still be bright at magnitude minus 2. Together, they will form a breathtaking sight visible to the unaided eye. What makes this event even more special is its timing. It coincides with the peak of the Perseid meteor shower. Sky watchers are in for a double cosmic treat, a dazzling planetary alignment paired with one of the most popular meteor showers of the year. In addition to stunning planetary conjunctions, 2025 will feature three triple conjunctions, where the Moon will join planets appearing close together in the sky. These rare alignments will create breathtaking views for stargazers. The first triple conjunction will grace the evening sky on February 1st. Look west soon after sunset and you'll see a slender crescent moon nestled between Venus and Saturn. The exact position of the moon relative to the planets will vary depending on your location. But the sight will be captivating no matter where you are. This celestial lineup will light up the twilight sky, making it a perfect photo opportunity. The second triple conjunction will occur in the pre-dawn sky on April 25th. The waning crescent moon will pass close to Venus and Saturn, forming an enchanting smiley face in the sky. Adding to the scene, Neptune will be nearby, though only visible through a telescope. If you have a clear view of the eastern horizon, you can see Mercury, but it will be quite challenging to spot that tiny planet. The third triple conjunction of 2025 will take place on September 19th. 
bring together the Moon, Venus, and Regulus, the brightest star in the constellation Leo. In the eastern pre-dawn hours, a thin, waning crescent moon will pass very close to Venus and Regulus, creating a breathtaking celestial grouping. Around this date, Venus and Regulus will already be in a striking conjunction, with the moon completing the trio for an even more spectacular view. This close grouping will easily be visible to the naked eye, but for the best experience, use binoculars to see the sharp details of this conjunction. Venus is famously known as both the morning star and the evening star, depending on where it appears in the sky. But this March, something rare will happen. From the 18th through the 21st March, Venus will be visible in both the morning and evening skies for a few days in the Northern Hemisphere. The reason Venus can sometimes be seen both in the evening after sunset and in the morning before sunrise on the same day is due to its brightness and the angle of its elongation relative to the sun. This is a rare event. The next time it will occur only in 2033. Another event worth mentioning is the gemmated meteor shower on a moonless night. Every December, our planet passes through a stream of debris from a disintegrating asteroid, creating a spectacular display of shooting stars known as the gemmated meteor shower. Typically, this event can light up the night with 60 to 120 meteors every hour at its peak around December 13th and 14th. This year is set to offer an exceptional show as the peak of the Geminids align with a dark, moonless night, enhancing the visibility of the meteor shower. Viewing conditions are ideal on moonless nights, which is a rare and special occurrence from meteor showers like the Geminids. The absence of moonlight allows the fainter meteors to be visible, turning the night into a bustling canvas of streaking lights. The radiant of the Geminids lies in the constellation Gemini, which rises soon after sunset. So, viewers in the northern hemisphere can see the Geminids throughout the night. This year, the moon will be 24 days old on the night of the meteor shower peak, meaning it will rise a couple hours after midnight. This gives a generous window of dark, moonless skies, making it an ideal time to catch the meteors. So grab a comfortable spot under the open sky, away from city lights, and enjoy this celestial show. Adding to the cosmic wonders of 2025, the year promises to be a fantastic time for spotting dazzling auroras in many parts of the world. In October 2024, NASA and NOAA announced that the Sun had reached its solar maximum, the peak of its 11-year activity cycle. During the solar maximum, the Sun becomes more active, producing more flares and coronal mass ejections. These solar events send charged particles hurtling towards Earth, where they interact with our planet's magnetic field to create breathtaking displays of auroras. This heightened solar activity means that auroras could be visible much farther from the poles than usual, just like in May and October 2024. Even areas that don't typically experience these natural light shows may get a chance to witness them in 2025. So thank you for watching and check out the link in the description to start your journey with Odoo today.